Joe Galliani. I am the organizer of the South Bay 350 Climate Action Group. I'm also a founding member of the South Bay Bicycle Coalition, and I am the chair of the South Bay Clean Power Working Group. You know, I'm disappointed in you, Mr. Chairman, because you told us that if you were lucky, there would be very few of us speaking. And then you told us that we were wasting our time. And then you, you characterized us as people who have nothing to do. I said, I have nothing to do. No, let's, why don't you rewind the tape no, and listen to it? You can't tell me what I said. I can tell I you can what I heard, it. sir. Hey, I can tell you what you I heard, tell sir. Me what you heard, but I That's know what, what I, I heard, said. sir. I know what I said. Now, I don't want to get a screaming match. I don't either, sir. So, you know. I'd like to talk about process, sir. Well, then talk about process. Okay. Don't talk about what I said. I, I think I'll talk about what I want to talk about, sir. For three minutes. I'd like to talk now, about, yeah. well, if, I'd like to have three minutes if you weren't over-talking me. Uh, you're the one who engaged me in conversation. I am engaging you in conversation, sir, because you clearly do not want to hear from the public. I'm here to ask you to listen to the public, because they're not people with nothing to do. They're patriots. These are the people that stand up and take time off from work to come here to ask you to have some sense of urgency about the work you do. I don't know if you read the paper. I do. Here's the LA Times. They told us that heat has hit a new high. I know that CO2 levels in the atmosphere are at 400. I know that our carbon budget, which says we have about 500 more gigatons of carbon to burn before we hit the two degree global warming that nobody wants us to hit. I know we have about 15 years before we hit that. I also know that our friends in the oil, coal, and gas industry have 2,795 gigatons that they'd like to burn. And so I ask you, if it's wrong to wreck the climate, isn't it wrong to profit from it? And if it's wrong to do those things, isn't it wrong of you to sit there and engage in conversation while the public takes time out to come here and speak to you and ask you to be our voice of the people? I'm sorry that you think you're lucky when there are only two cards and you only have to listen to two of us. And perhaps because you are retired, maybe you're tired of listening to us. Well, you know what? I live six miles from this facility. I live in Torrance. And I, where I live, I'm within 12 miles of some of the largest sources of air pollution on the planet. The port of LA, the port of Long Beach, I've got the ExxonMobil refinery in my town. I've got El, Sh El Segundo's Chevron refinery. We've got Wilmington's refinery. So the question is, how much carbon are you willing to shove down our throats while we're at the tipping point? That's what I'd like you to think about. You can have the rest of my time, and maybe you'd like to have a chat with somebody up there. <laughs>